Wow, that was heartwarming. Long time ago. Quick story. If you remember, uh, again, this is a series, so a lot of things are, a lot of these little anecdotes are cumulative. But a long time ago, um, a few videos ago, Chuck Palumbo told us about how sergeants force agents to write tickets against their will, get them to sign. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to give specifics on this, but I'm in the area. And, um, sanitation guys, you can see where I am. You know where I am. All right, so, and I was forced to write, um, tickets to, 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 for benches, you know, benches out front, blocking the sidewalk. And I, I, I just, I just cruised by it and, all the benches are gone, but I, 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 I had to apologize. I went into the guy, I went into the store, and I, I, I talked to the owner, and um, and he, he was, he was luckily, to, lucky to have gotten the, he was lucky to have gotten the, uh, let's see where I am, lucky to get the, got the tickets tossed out. For whatever reason, but I, I just felt I, I they they smiled and they didn't know what the hell I was t really talking about. Like you know, restitution for harm done, damages. Like you know, I gave them the analogy of uh, a shakedown. You know, where like you know, you're 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 the you're working in a store and the owner comes by and says, "Hey, you see that guy's wallet on the bar over there? Go take it. Just, just take it. Take it." I'm telling you, take it. I'm the boss. Go take the wallet. Put it in your pocket. Shut the hell up. If you say anything, you're fired. I, you know, and I, I, I just, I, I always, I always, that always bothered me. That bothered me. It's two years later, you know, and I, and I had to, um, I had to go over there and, you know, I, I, I shook the guy's hand. I said, I'm sorry. You know, I, I told him what happened. I told him that, you know, the, Sergeants were on the sidewalk and, it, you know, forcing me to write the ticket when it was clearly not a violation. The benches, you know, weren't blocking anybody's crosswalk. So anyway, I don't know. That was weird. They, they kind of, you know, we're down in the village here, so people are kind of, kind of artsy fartsy. They, they kind of, they kind of smiled and got the, they got the gist of what I was saying and, you know. I don't know, you know, it's, it's, there are damages, you know, you damage people when you do, when you do stuff like that. The extent of it is, you know, finding it out, I'm finding it out, you know, I carry that guilt around for all that time, you know, being forced to, you know, shake people down over what it wasn't a violation. It's a bench, bench on behind the guy's property line, SO7. Uh, it's an interesting area to be coming down here trying to talk about stay on for a minute talk about uh, you know discrimination we're down here at Stonewall you know what Stonewall is? Stonewall this is the corner of uh, 7th Avenue and Christopher I'm sorry it's bleaker Anyway, <laughs> I haven't been down here in a while. And the uh, stone wall was the uh, scene of the, uh, you know, uprising of the uh, gay gay folks, Christopher Christopher Park said, stood up and said, "Enough already! Enough! We want equal rights. We want equal justice." We're human beings too. We count, right? We count. You can't discriminate against us, right? Stonewall. Pow! Stonewall. Went back there and said, "I'm sorry." Speaking to me. 
tearjerker.